on the toss and they will bowl. Back to you, Ravi. So Ian Bishop with the two captains and the teams for today's game. Saurav Ganguly, age 29, 1950s and a strike rate of 74.3. And a man with an even better strike rate, Virendra Sehwag. After an astonishing win in the last one-day international, the Indian team surely will be buoyant and very striking uh, absence of Merv Dillon in the West Indian team. Pedro Collins will bowl with the new ball. With me is Danny Morrison. Nice leg. Pitched it right up. Good conditions to bowl. First runs for Ganguly, the skipper and his team. He's coming around the wicket. Didn't take long, did it? Banged it in, Pedro Collins, because they know that the way to dismiss this man is banging it in around about shoulder height, throat height, head height, around that vicinity. First over gone, three for no wicket, India. Oh, uh. Vasper Drakes will start his job from the corporation end. It's been a series where the runs have come off his bowling and that's a good length to start with you'll see in the action replay that he wasn't at the pitch of the ball he was expecting something shorter during the sehwag well this is where you don't want to be now just watch the action of the wrist you see he's just trying to bowl an off cutter there break the wrist on the inside for Vesbert drakes and anything in there, and that's what's going to happen. That's all Sawag has to do, just lean on it, close the face a little bit, and it's just so easy. Just trying to guess or assess what could be Virendra Sawag's plan with the short pitch delivery. Anything outside the off some short, I think he'll go for his square cut. He's not going to leave everything that is short. It's an interesting day for Virinda Sawag. Important innings, I believe. Almost shaping to pull that one. Two overs gone, six for no wicket. Sawag on strike, two slips in position. Looking a little ragged at the start, Sawag. He's gone back and across to give him his credit. But, uh, he's really looking for that short one, either tucking back up from Collins and then Drakes, who comes wide back over the wicket. So he's just thinking about it, looking for it. Here comes the first boundary for India. The wrist is shot by Sehwag, and even Ricardo Powell couldn't stop that. The cheerleaders are loving it here in Baroda. Risky and Risty in the air and simply just fizzed off that big bat. Incredible stuff. You see there's an angle. You get in there about, wow, middle and leg stump. Sawag's going to make you disappear. No point trying to catch that Pedro Collins. That is fair raced away. And the second one. And it's also a no ball. Early problems for Pedro Collins. Well, he's just fallen into the trap there. He got two straight on leg stump. Left arm round the wicket, Pedro Collins. And now he's gone right the other way. From the sublime to the ridiculous. Too wide, too short. And that is just meat and drink for Sawag. Loves it there in that zone. Just too short, too wide. The margin for error we've been saying this whole summer. He's going to look for two. Corey Colimo is the man in the deep. We well, must say, Danny, they haven't bowled the ball that really troubles Sehwag, which is the short pitcher. Slow ball and it goes quicker off the bat. The third boundary in the over for Virendra Sehwag. There's still one ball to go. Crowd really starting to warm up here in Baroda. They're loving this. And Verinda Sawag, he's picked this and just launched into it. Just about decapitated his skipper at the other end. But he picked it up beautifully, Verinda Sawag. 
And it just mid as it. Well, that's the line, and they've claimed the catch here. In fact, they didn't bother appealing because they were so sure that it had come off the glove, but it brings the end of the over. Three overs gone, 21 for no wicket. He's uh, certainly kept pull as the option to anything that is short in leg. Twice we've seen in this innings, he's shaped to play the pull shot. Hasn't quite played it. Just to remind you, this is a 48 overs game. Three bowlers can bowl a maximum of 10. There it is, the pull shot comes into action for Ganguly's first boundary of the innings. He's been looking for it. There is no doubt about that. Anything slightly short or a hint of being short has just sat up already this morning and almost four overs gone. But there is that characteristic swivel type pull shot from Sarav Ganguly. And he just rides with it, picks it up, plenty of bottom hand. And I love the position of the head. Very, very steady. You won't get a steadier head while playing the pull shot. Struggling a tear. He's whipped it and Kalupa is brilliant. He's not 100% fit, but still good enough. The skipper has saved a certain for Carl Hooper. And that is for sure. It was humming. There he goes again. And this is uh, bread and butter for Sewa. We've got to say that, in fact, for any Indian batsman. Very much so. Again, just struggling in at about middle stump. You see, even on middle stump, you're going to go. And... Collins gets the ball to swing back a little bit. And you see anything in there, no protection inside 14 overs. And it's just the length. It's a lovely little pickup length. And you might start thinking about coming back round the wicket next over. Again, driven straight. Much better shot. Five overs gone. India 35 for no wicket. Pedro Collins, he bowled five. That should be another four for India. It's got the Ganguly timing on it. Well, as it's happening, it's Saywag versus Collins, and then it's Ganguly versus Drakes. And that's what's been happening. He's had most of the strike, Sarah Ganguly, of this with Drakes, and he's enjoying it. Simple, clean seems like there's been a conscious decision made by the West Indians to keep the ball up to Ganguly. The shadow's there. And that's a very good-looking boundary from Ganguly. It's a couple more from Ganguly in this over after a couple in the last over from uh, Pedro Collins. 43 for no wicket. As opposed to one who uses his full body in his bowling. Good work in the deep. Sevak will pick a couple. Vasco Drake's the fielder there. It is a Campbell Ravi, you're right. He hasn't bowled in this series so far. It's been a while since he's bowled. He's bowled in a few of the next sessions and so forth. And does have a reputation as being something of a golden arm as the 50 comes up for India in very quick time of 7.1 overs. He's gone after it. Enough bat on it to get over the boundary and clear it comfortably. That's why it's a gamble. First six of the game. It's just dragged that down very, very short. And though it was outside the off by some way, he's got so much time to play that shot, Sewag. Good eye. Yep, going, going, gone. That's well played. That's clever cricket. Ten of two balls for Sewag. 
Yeah, this is like the land to the slaughter here for Wavell Hines. He just doesn't have that control to be bowling at this stage. Not to batsmen of this class and quality. Sewad knows where the gaps are. Deliberately taking that off something where middle snub. Sewad was clever to use the pace of the bowler. This time he's gone on the other side of that man. The result the same. This is a big over for India. This is the man they've come to see, and if you're looking at home, young budding cricketers, this young man, Sewag, has a very good sense of where the gaps are in the field. He doesn't just hit, he hits them into the spaces. He spots nicely here. Should get another couple. In fact, will settle for the single this time. And he's looking for the gap, and he goes for the big one again. One bounce. And over the boundary. Well, he's in the mood where he wants to take this attack to the cleaners. 70 for no loss, India. And that's another one of those shots where he knows that the there's a mid-off. He's looking to hit the ball deliberately over it. You couldn't say it was an outrightly bad delivery on a length on the off thumb. Single there to in the over 72 for no loss. That's swept away and he's got it away fine. Carl won't cut it off. That's certainly one of the shots that. He can score with on the leg side. He's limited depending on the length that Hooper bowls. I don't often see him sweep Saurav Ganguly. I can't remember too many sweep shots. And he plays this one well. Played it fine. Down the track and he clears it on. That was always on the cards. Second boundary of the over. And Hooper put under pressure straight away. He's got batting though. Used his feet quickly, almost started coming before Hooper had released the ball. Yeah, you can see the feet moving reasonably early. Hooper's length would be just attempting to be back of a length. That's delicate. Another boundary here for India. 12 runs coming off that over. That struck straight back. 50 for Sevag. His eight in one day internationals and it's come off just 37 balls. Another scintillating effort. And it puts serious pressure on the bowler even as he runs in because uh, you know you're running in and make you pay the price for it. He's gone here looking to clear mid on. Not quite getting the elevation. And a breezy innings from Seva comes to an end. The West Indies get their first wicket. Yeah, rightly disgusted with himself. But credit to Collymore. He kept his length very full. He was consistently up there. And Chandra Paul took a good catch. He's gone for 52, 88 for one. VVS Lakshman comes out to the middle. He's had a good time in this tournament. Averaging 70.67, good strike rate too. 99 is highest. He replaces Birinder Sevag. So 11 overs bold. It's 89 for one. Oh. Well, that's a turn that uh, most people expected to see on this pitch. And batting second is not going to be easy. When Carl Hooper can get that much turn, you know it's offering assistance. Say, you see it. Set. No run there that's either. It. No made Nova. 89 for one. Finally, they were looking for two runs here. Should get them comfortably. Hey, stop, stop, stop. 
A bit of a mix up here. He, not the best of throws. Well, he's looking and he's asking. A better throw and he would have been out by a distance. Now, VVS Lakshman has a chance. It has been referred to the TV umpire. It was a wild throw. But again, running between the wickets, continuing to be a problem for VVS Lakshman. Plenty of problems in the last match against Dravid. Let's have a look. He's a long way out, but will he get back in time? That's pretty close. That's very, very close. Well, that's the best the technology can do. Two frames. In one frame, his bat is in and the bail is out. And the earlier frame shows that the bail is not off. So I think that will get VBS Lakshman to survive. I think you'll have to say that he's in. Very ordinary throw. Not better throw. And he would have been walking back while the drinks cart was coming out. It's 93 for one. Could be close again. Just well, Not the best running at all between Ganguly and Latchman. Seems like he puts a lot of pressure on himself in the one days. He's been in excellent form in this series. Well, was diving over that. Was Vasco Drake's. That's good running. That's very good running. Got three runs for it. Was forced to go for the third by VBS Lakshman. You can see there, Ganguly had resigned for a couple. Long off will cut that off quite comfortably. Single alone the third man. can say is it's been a frustrating series for the bowlers well it was West Indians who had the pressure in the last match at Ahmedabad batting first and wondering some sanity returning to the game after we're in the Sewag's dismissal Still good enough for India. Keeping five fielders inside the circle to try and cut down on the amount of singles, Kalupa, but still managing to pick up these singles, India. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be a bit more than a single. Long chase here for Ranar Sawan. Restricting them to two runs. It's 113 for one. Doesn't give too much of a warning to the batsman Ganguly. Steps out at the very last minute. So it becomes difficult for the bowler to make the adjustment. Always had a good flow of the bat and a very steady head to go with it. That's the strength when he plays the lofted shot. Two very aggressive players, two high quality players. They score very quickly. Not a bad bounce a lot at all. 119 for one. 12 runs in his first over. Ganguly surprised in the last over by that short delivery. The line was good. Now that's gone away. Big Chandra Paul to the boundary. And it brings up the half century for Sarav Ganguly as well. Oh, 
this is his 50th half century. Saw him coming down the track, kept it outside the leg stump. 28 for one, Ganguly down the track. You get only a single that was uh, very well timed. One of the most of the feet, not getting enough space to free his shoulders. He likes it a little away from his body. Lakshman goes for the big one and finds the gap. One bounce over the rope. Kept getting the impression that something had got to give. The West Indies bowling had sort of shackled these two. And that's a very cleverly played shot. Used his feet, didn't quite get to the pitch of the ball, and just bisected that gap between mid wicket and mid on, a long on. Ah! Appeal for a catch, the finger goes up. Looks as if the, even the bales might have come off, so he might have got an edge and then the bales coming off and then going into the gloves of uh, Ridley Jacobs. But the finger went up straight away, so could be a combination. Definite edge. And then uh, hitting the stumps. Jacobs goes up, the finger goes up, but it will have to go down as bold. So fine innings from Ganguly coming to an end. 53 from 55 balls and uh, this is a good period for the West Indies. Rahul Dravid comes out to the middle. He's had uh, a very good series and outstanding innings in the last game. Match winning effort. Then being injured. Take it! Get it! Just a single. Samuels is another man who can be used as an off spinner. So run still coming in singles of Hooper. And the reason why Hooper has done such a good job here is because uh, he conceded three boundaries in his first over. And his good figures, one for 38. That's 140 for two. Both times. been impressive with Dravid, apart from his consistency, has been his strike rate in this tournament. Certainly has a wider range of shots, as you can see there. Very cleverly played for a boundary. 149 for two. A welcome boundary from India's point of view. But that's a very cleverly played shot. Perfectly done. Just using the pace of the delivery, playing it very fine. That should take some of the pressure off these two. It went for four. The 150 comes up for India with that single. Go, go, go. It's walked away on the onside. Javid will look for two and get it. Nicely punched to the back foot by Lakshman. He'll get a couple. This shot is indicative of how slow this wicket is when the spinners are operating. That's in the air, just landing short of the man at deep mid wicket. Thank for that gap between mid wicket and long on. Fortunate that he didn't get. Too much of wood on that. Didn't carry to mid wicket. That's a fine shot. Excellent placement.
Now that's a very difficult shot. You have a short mid-wicket that's plugging the gap between mid-on and mid-wicket deep. But he manages to find it without going over the top. Perfectly executed. Great balance. Timing and placement was absolutely perfect. Ten runs coming off the last over. One six five for two. Is that well? And to tell you more in the commentary box, Ian Bishop and Manu Singh. Okay, Eight point four six. I'm reliably told by our statistician Dina, who's sitting on my left. Well feel it, very well feel it. He's not the quickest in the circle, Chris Gale, but his hands are usually very good. And six foot two inches of him had to get down quickly. That's brilliant fielding from Chris Gale. Need to get give support to your bowlers like that. No, no, no. Yes. The spinners have come on there. Can't hit too many initially as they go back for two. Oh, another single. 177 for two. Samuels continues, and that's very well placed by DDS Laxman. A rare boundary since the tenth over of this match. Somebody has got to press the button now. 17 overs to go, 16.5 exactly. And I think BBS Lakshman has realized that he's been in for a long time, so he's got to get on with the game and try and score runs quickly, as uh, Bishop was talking about. Uh, and uh, While Raul will just try to back through the innings, this is also good placement, just a couple of runs in it. Gail continues. We were talking about his uh, running between the wickets. I think he's got weak legs, VBS Lakshman, but he gets his 50 this time. That's his 9.50 in one day international. That has been a good innings. But now he would be expected to score runs quickly from here. Yeah, just looking to step things up at the moment. Doesn't beat Weevil Hines, who gets down very, very well and restricts it to one. 194 for two. One ninety-four, one ninety-five now. Ricardo Powell, the fielder, that was a rare side. He's not missed any so far. One of the best fielders in the West Indian side and in World Cup as well. VVS Lakshman trying to accelerate the run rate. He'll have to, otherwise Rahul Dravid will come under some kind of pressure. And if he tries to play. Placement is the key on that occasion. Now it'll be a tight race, but the ball wins. 200 up for India, 200 for two, and 34 and a half overs. So he's heard your message, Manny. He stepped on the gas. It's a classic shot. Lovely use of the feet from VBS Lakshman. He's put his paddle on the accelerator. That's exactly what he needs to do now. That has been played well. Lovely use of the wrist. And then whatever over and above you get is bonus. Oh, reverse sweep kick. That's gone very, very fine. We'll have to wait and see whether it reaches the boundary or not. And that's four runs. 205 for two after 35. Use the pace of it. It was a faster ball from Marlon Samuels, and it was spotted very early by Lakshman. So the boundary is just starting to flow for India. Lakshman, that was a ranked long hop, very bad delivery from uh, Samuels. No direction. We've noticed in the series whenever the spinners try and bowl quick, 
they go for runs. And that has given them a good platform. And that's in the air. Chris Gale is underneath it. And he takes it. A good catch by Chris Gale. The West Indies have gotten a vital breakthrough. And that's the man, Raul Dravid, who's on his way back to the pavilion. The ball not really coming on to the back. Rahul Dravid going with the stroke earlier than the ball came on to him. And that's a lovely catch from Chris Gale. Well just catch. Rahul Dravid's gone for 33. 2 1 2 for 3. Kaif has come in. And that's something of a surprise because I think Yuvat Singh previously had been coming in ahead of Mohamed Kaif, who's become something. And Chris Gale was only there for a couple of deliveries. So fortunately for the West Indies, Carl Hooper recognized, and for some reason that change was made just in the nick of time as well. For the moment, it's Kaif. And it's good for him as well, I think, on the other side, from the Indian perspective. Another positive about Mohamed Kaif is he's... Uh, Yuvraj is the kind of batsman who loves to get on with the game, loves to hit boundaries. But Mohamed Kaif is the kind of player, if he doesn't get boundaries, he keeps the scorers busy. Samuel's doing a good job. He's got a wicket of Rahul Dravid. And that's in the air. But it'll be well short of Pastor Drakes. And good running by Mohamed Kaif as well. He always wanted two. Drakes was very casual. Thought there would only be one. But he's very quick between the wickets, Kaif. What is Vivius Lakshman trying to do here? Look at Mohamed Kaif. Very quick. Uh, there will be two in this as well, no doubt. Kaif is that quick and he makes it quite easily. 223 for three. He's been a wounded soldier after the first two one days. Carl Hooper, the knees uh, just getting a more and more tender as he's played some cricket in this uh, country. In the air, could get straight to hand, and it does. So, Mohamed Kaif has been dismissed by Pedro Collins by a good, smart catch in the deep. Ram Naris Sarwan. Not afraid to sacrifice himself, Mohamed Kaif. And it was there, it was in the slot. He just didn't get enough on it. And he caught about 10 feet inside the road. He's gone for four, and India now 2 2 3 for four. Yuvraj Singh walks in the middle. VVS Lakshman goes on to 69. So after a couple of 50s at the top, VVS Lakshman marches on. Absolutely, Danny. Big drive. And may have found the gap here. The first boundary for Yuvraj Singh. Taking over from Mohamed Kaif. Interesting to see how he can really crank it up here. And the good thing from India's perspective. Another left-hander at the crease. Difficulty for the bowlers, having to chop and change that line. In the air, straight to hand. Carl Hooper is the catcher. And a very tame end to VVS Lakshman's inning. And a very tame sound as well, off the blade and from the crowd. Absolute silence. You can almost hear a pin drop as Hooper took that catch to remove Lakshman for 71. India now 232 for five. Sanjay Bangar faces the first ball and gets off the mark. So the hero of the last match, Sanjay Bangar, 57 of 41 balls. So his confidence must be pretty high. Ball may be just coming slower than he expected. Played it early. What a shot that is. Hit into the ground. And the 
confidence, not only from Bunga, he's only finished the solitary delivery. Almost oh causing a few problems there for Mr. De Silva. Great adjustment at the last minute. He's found the edge and he'll find the fielder as well at third man. Call for a quick single and we'll make it comfortably. 2.37 for five. He's guided it to third man. We'll look for two and we'll get it comfortably. See, he's throwing too much talcum powder in the hair. That's why I'm losing it now. Sure. Dinar Gupta confirmed that he's not even played first class cricket. Sanjay Bangar scoring in singles, doing the right thing. Trying to get the big hitter, Yuvraj Singh, on strike. Nicely played. It's a boundary for Yuvraj Singh. Cheekily played. Important runs for India. 247 for five. It wasn't such a bear over up until then. And six off it, and in the last ball, full toss on about middle and leg. The keeper standing up, and not a good delivery. Trying a little change up, it's around about middle, middle, and off. And it turns out to be 10 off the over. It's gone up in the air, it hasn't gone far. And another low catch for Chris Gale there. This falling short. The bowl is going to be a bit disappointed about this because he made all the ground, Chris Gale. Not quite. And it allows the Indians to bring up the 250. And a little subtle change of pace there from Pedro Collins. Just rolled the fingers on it. And he made good ground, Chris Gale. And in the end, he probably just started to pull out there. But he felt he wasn't never going to quite get there. Almost held on to it. Ricardo Paul, brilliant at point, and that was slashed hard at him. They managed to pull that off. He was coming in to save the single, actually. So even closer to the bat, that much more difficult. Well, it's a great effort because it's going like a tracer bullet. Look at that. David Seaman of Arsenal will be happy with that to get up. Maybe even David James of West Ham United. Palm that one over the bar. Great effort from Powell. They look for two. The field is out in the deep. And comfortable two in the end. 254 for five. Straight to hand. A very similar dismissal from the last one. That's exactly how Yuvraj Singh got out at Ahmedabad. Chipping one to mid-wicket. And he picked the same fielder again. Again, the stony silence here in Baroda. Little change out, well bowled. And it just lobs out to Carl Hooper. And Collymore, he's over the moon. Yuvraj Singh he's out for 15. India 2 5 4 for 6. Murli Karthik, the genuine left arm spinner, has some batting talent and likes to bat. So he can be. A bit of a hurdle for West Indies at this stage. But not quite taking off the Indian innings as they would have liked in the final stages of this innings. They have just pitched outside leg stump. And leg by signal by De Silva. Not a hard decision there for Saka De Silva. But another left-hander for a left-hander. There's a good little bit of change of pace from Collymore. And in the end, a pretty comfortable catch for Carl Hooper. Just held it back a little bit there, Corey Collymore. Very, very identical dismissal. Just important. He just tries to just try to run it down to third man. They haven't got too many big hitters after this to come. And direct hit could have done it. Murli Karthik was just struggling a bit to get there. 
Well, he's done a trick here and got off strike, but a direct hit. Played straight to mid on. 2.59 for six. Just watching what's been happening over the last few balls. I wonder why. Certain doesn't look as competent a player with the bat than Harbhajan Singh or Jabagal Srinath. That's in the air and shot of the man in the deep. What West Indies don't want is to concede the boundaries at this stage. If they pick up wickets at regular intervals, that will help immensely. Quite a few balls have flown over the inner circle and fallen well short of the man in the deep. Because his boundaries are reasonably big for coming to the ground. I heard that it was a small ground. It's not that small. First 15 overs, there was a flurry of boundaries. Just wide of the man at point. We saw Ricardo Powell looking so brilliant in the last game. Today, the balls have been flying just past him to his left and right on most occasions. Just eluding him. A very important portfolio. And that's a very good shot. Just got a chance to free his arms, Murli Karthik, with an offer. And it's a good cricketing shot to get a boundary. There's a man out on the boundary, on the offside. He's not for the ball that's well pitched up, he's more for the shorter delivery. That's on the air. Jacob's running after it. And once again, the ball lands safely. Two runs taken in the bargain. Even though India have lost six wickets, this already is a good score on the surface. It's a very good score. We have seen the ball turn. We saw Kalupa getting the ball to turn, and he wasn't looking to spin the ball a great deal. Tricks. Cannot prevent the two. Over than the run rate for India. That's well played. And this is not good bowling by Collins at this stage because his fine leg is up. So once Banga got some bat on it, it's four for the taking. Well, that is definitely not thinking at all. A bouncer with fine leg up no could, certainly couldn't be thinking about the game and that one clearing Hooper and finding the boundary so once again Banga turning it on here in the final overs he played a banging innings in the last game at Ahmedabad now he's moved on to 26 of 19 Less time at the free first and he'll be a banger on this occasion, but he's certainly showing what he's capable of doing. Again, not the right length here from Pedro Collins. With long on and long off, right back on the boundary. It has to be Yorker Lynn. Edge and taken. Jacobs making no mistake. So I'm trying to push the scoring along. Karthik departs. Looking to keep the ball full on, on that occasion again. Not quite up to the bat, but just enough outside off stump because Katik was looking to give himself a bit of room. So he just managed to get the bat to the ball. It's 285 for seven. Two eighty-five for seven. Two eighty-six for seven at the end of the forty-seventh over. And this one ball right up in the block hole, and a good piece of fielding, direct hit. Banga has gone, and that's just what West Indies wanted. 
Good work by Carl Hooper on this follow through. And with his bad knee as well. Must have put a bit of effort into that Carl Hooper because we know it's not easy going sideways when you have a bad knee or even spinning and throwing. Excellent work. Good wicket. 286 for 8. Arbhajan Singh comes out to the middle. Four balls remaining. So this is turning out to be a good last over for the West Indies. One. Straight to long off. So runs coming just in singles in this over. Just one ball remaining now and Hooper's conceded three of the last over. Srinath looking to finish things off with a big one. And work for Powell in the deep. He's quick. The throw is good. And he keeps the batsman down to just a single. So India after 48 overs, 290 for eight. And uh, that's a good score on the surface. So 290 for eight India after 48 overs. So good performance uh, by the Indian team. It was Virendra Seva who set the tone early on. 52 from just 39 balls. Ganguly once again playing another half century. 53 from 55. Lakshman played well for 71. So a good performance by the top order. And in the end, uh, India reaching 290 for eight from 48 overs. West Indian bowling, well, they struggled early on, three wickets for Collins, but he went for 60 of his uh, nine overs. Colin Collimore playing this game instead of Dylan, two for 56 for him. I thought Hooper did a good job and plenty of bowling for the spinners as well. Eight overs for Chris Gale and Marlon Samuels picking up one wicket in his eight overs. So the target for the West Indies, 291. So India ending 290 for eight, which means uh, the target for the West Indies 291. So the two West Indian batsmen, Chris Gale and Wavell Hines coming out to the center. Chris Gale, he's been the man in form as far as the West Indies are concerned. Two hundreds in this one day series already and Ian, they'll be looking for a good start here, the West Indies. Yes, a very good start, Ravi, within the first 14 overs when the limitations are applicable. It's going to make things a lot easier for the West Indies because we've seen that this pitch has a bit of turn in it. So when Habajan and Katik and company come on the slow bowlers, if the West Indies can get a good start of maybe seven or eight runs and over, then they don't have to take too many risks against the slow bowlers. But all depends on Javagal Srinath. And they have not been able to get those wickets early on in the first 14 or 15 overs and it's left to be seen if that will continue to be a problem so Srinath on his way Gale the man on strike and off the mark straight away with a single uh, this will be a big factor for the West Indies how many singles Punched off the back foot, but Srinath's got a man at deep point. So you can see the line of attack is going to be outside the off stump for the left-hander. The field changes for Chris Gale. The man drops back to a fine leg position. Srinath will come back to over the wicket. That's a fine shot. First boundary of the innings. And West Indies after one over, six for no loss. Lakshmi Pati Balaji. We'll stick to Balaji for today, won't we, Ravi? Lakshmi Pati. Uh, used to Venkatapati. This is Lakshmi Pati Balaji on his way. Big game for him. First match in international cricket. And it's a cracking shot by Wavell Hines. Just offering a little bit of width. 
the young man will be a little nervous. It'll take some time for him to find his feet. Yes, he'll be hoped that this is not a sign of things to come, but Wavell Hines and Gale have shown that if they're given any whiff, that they will punish it. There's a sweeper on the offside, but this was hit in front of that sweeper. And this new ball will travel across the outfield very, very quickly. That's blazed away. That's not the place to bowl with this kind of field. And I'm not sure what the intention is by removing the sweeper from the offside if you're going to give him that room anyway. That is going to be a testing time for Balaji. Chris Gale does not spare these types of deliveries easily. And with the run rate, the asking rate, about six. And the West Indies are off to a very good start. It's in the air, but pass cover. Kef won't cut it off. It's a good over for the West Indies. 14 coming off it, 20 for no loss. Srinath will continue. That's a glorious shot. There is deep point, but he can only be a spectator. As the ball races past the line, again hit with tremendous power by Hines. Well, all I can say, Ravi, is business as usual. The first 15 overs, if you've drawn the short straw, then you've got to bowl within them. He's not impressed, Srinath, but we've seen this in all four games before this match. Anything slightly... He's got that through. Second boundary of the over. There's no deep point now. Srinath, if he gives some room, he'll pay the price for it. But again, well executed the shot. Nicely on top of it, Hines. And it's a familiar shot. We've had six boundaries in this game so far, and they've all come in this exact direction. Three from Gale, three from Hines. So problems straight away for India. But the West Indies off to the best possible start in chasing this total of 291. Glorious. This time of the front foot. Now this is hit with tremendous power. Not only is the ball finding the boundary, but it's finding it very quickly. This is an early wake-up call for the Indians. Well, it was in the air for a while. But it pierced a very tiny gap in the offside field. And he's got Gale on strike. And the best advice I can give to him from here is to try to bowl as straight as possible, not giving the batsman any room. And I think it's very easy to sit in the commentary box to any of the bowlers in this match on either team. That's driven, and it's found the gap. Fractionally overpitched. He's a tall man, Gale. He pounces on it. So four boundaries now for Gale, four for Hines. Well, at this rate, we'll be completed after 30 overs. They're finding the gaps every single time. Well, I think, uh, Ian, you mentioned a little while earlier, Harbhajan Singh might get a ball early on. There's no question about that. I think spin will have to be introduced early. 36 for no loss. not continuing as many as eight boundaries already hit by these two batsmen yes. and three boundaries came in that Srinath's last over uh, that's a fine shot that's it, Ramrod straight, straight down the ground. Well, if you're going to get hit for four, you don't want it to be a no ball as well, because it's five and then you have to bowl this over again. And this is what you were referring to, Ravi Shastri, if they drive the ball straight down the ground nicely. And if it's short, they also pull. So that is tremendous pressure on this young man. I don't think he would have encountered this before. That's it. <laughs> Slower delivery. He's put that into the crowd, Wavell Hines. He picked it up. He had time to adjust. And a nice uh, full bat swing. 
So the young man here getting an early taste of uh, international cricket. That's a meaty blow. Well, if I were Balaji, I'd be looking towards my skipper and saying, please bring Habajan on because I cannot sustain or cannot take this punishment anymore. He went through with the shot quite nicely. That's gone past the offside ring. Into the boundary. That's the problem if you give with outside the off stump of this field. I think what uh, Balaji needs is someone to run up to him and have a chat as to what line to bowl with this field. I think Rahul Dravid has sprinted all the way to Saurav Ganguly telling him there's no point bowling this field. The best line, I reckon, is what Ian said a little while earlier. He's got to try and bowl straight. There's been one change made now. Third man's dropped back to a, a normal third man position. Long on's come up to mid on. Young Balaji. Srinath trying to claw back and gain the advantage for his side. He's bowling well here. He got in for some early punishment as well, Jabagal Srinath. But he's experienced. He knows what he has to do to try and correct that. And he has been doing a pretty good job of it in the last eight balls or so. I was thinking of Balaji as well, Sanjay. I don't think it would do any harm to have Srinath at mid on or mid off beside him. Yuvraj Singh with the fumble at point. Always a good run if it's going to Yuvraj Singh right. I think that is why Chris Gill was quite anxious to get that single. Weaver Hines responded. He's left-handed, so he has to get right around the ball. Over the top. And seems like he's got enough bat. It was a completely missed time shot, but still good enough for a four. Just seemed to slice off the outer half of the bat. I get the impression he was trying to hit straight back down the ground here, Wabel Hines. Of course, he is a powerful young man. Gets enough back on the ball. It will fly off and over the inner circle. That's certainly an improvement they would want to make. Sanjay Bangar gets a welcome that uh, is not entirely unexpected. We saw the Indians do this as well when they were batting. Looking for the boundary early in the over and then taking singles picking up six seven runs and over easily well not even uncle les is awake to watch those it's up in the air but will fall in no man's land may also go all the way just pull back in and then captain does the job just a couple of runs for chris gale Didn't time it very well at all, Chris Gale. Perhaps he hit the bottom of the bat. I think it perhaps came off a bit slower than he expected as well. But as we said earlier, it's a war zone here. And it continues for Wavell Hines. This is a good clean hit. Well clear of the ropes. Hands go up, Ashoka De Silva. And another six. Straight down the ground. That was a good shot. Called Jabagal Srinath, the last two overs weren't bad overs at all. Kubal Hines this time looking to hit straight down the ground and this time connecting with the full face of the bat. It was an unfortunate lady in the flight of that ball. No one was gallant enough to take the catch, so she suffered. And again, he's gone square on the offside. And that was a good ball from Srinath. So 11 runs so far from the Srinath over. His last two overs were very good, but again, he's suffering. First two, two overs went for 18, then his next two went for five. But I think West Indies opening batsmen are looking to redress that balance again. Chris Gale on this occasion. Sweep shot, played well, just bouncing inside the rope. 
another boundary for Wavell Hines. There is a man out deep on the leg side waiting for the sweep. But Wavell Hines was very good with that shot. It started off just in front of Square, landed just behind Square. And that will bring up his 50. Four more to Wavell Hines. He moves on to 52. And it's one of the quicker 50s that we've seen in the series. Just the 32 balls. A strike rate of 162.5 for Wavell Hines. And that was a good shot to bring up that 50 again. Flatter delivery from Harbhajan Singh. Spinning across him. Give himself the room to hit it through the offside. His ninth half century in this form of the game. Save some runs there and Harbhajan would be pleased. 10 overs gone, 86 for no wicket. And he gets so welcome that uh, we're beginning to get used to. We used to keep on concentrating on the last ball in the over to see if it would go for four after five good deliveries. But seeing as if. The emphasis has now changed as far as the West Indies batsmen are concerned. They are now looking for the first ball to hit the boundary. Oh, yes. There she goes. This is the biggest that we've seen today. The third one and the biggest. This was well struck again by Wavell Hines. Not a great deal of spin there for Verinda Sewag. Just playing right through the line. That went a long way, a very long way. Uh, both very powerful hitters of the ball, Wavell Hines and Chris Gale. And anybody who's at the ground, outside the ground, better keep their eyes on the ball. That's an afterthought, appealing Harbhajan Singh. Well, it's the age-old phrase. He won't die wandering, Harbhajan Singh. His appealing reminds me of the driving here in India. You do anything. No rule, no regulation. Anywhere the ball goes, you appeal. It was also close to being called a wide, so maybe he got away with that. That should be for leg buys or buys. For wides. And brings up the 100 for West Indies. 103 for no wicket. Fired that one in, Harbhajan Singh. And fired it in down the leg side. Not something you should be doing when you have a wicket keeper that's not a specialist. Got nowhere near to that, Rahul Dravid. Can't say I really blame him. He's certainly not a specialist wicket keeper. 103 in the 12th over. Taken the aerial route again and Murli Karthik has been tested there. Where has it landed? Has it landed on the rope? It looked like it would travel one bounce to Murli Karthik. He was getting around to his right hand side. He's not sure. Well, it either landed on the rope or over the rope. It certainly didn't bounce in front of the rope. Over the rope. That's six. Just needed one angle to get that confirmation. And again, the arms go up. And again, it's Wavell Hines who's hit a six. More runs. It's a quick outfield. It beats Ganguly. And again, a good start to the over. Uh, this Indian attack is getting a real caning here at the hands of these two openers. And West Indies, bang on target. They've reduced the required run rate, Danny, to under five runs per over, and that's uh, significant. It certainly is, and you can just see the strategy is that you're trying to get a boundary in the first one or two deliveries of an over. Then it sets you up, takes that pressure off. Go, 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 go. go through for the single and get it. And what they've done, they've done it exactly right, especially in this part of the world. That smashed away. Excellent footwork. That is fractionally short, but so quickly was Hines onto that back foot. And he got the placement right. He had that extra bit of time. This is well played. 
you just get the sense too that the snowball effect of this batting, the momentum of it, it just just keeps gathering pace. It's incredible. And I like the way they've welcomed Harbhajan Singh to the crease. That's edge put down. The opportunity was there. And he was beaten in the flight. And got the outside edge and Lakshman putting that down. And the shake of the bowler's head said it all. Deceived in the flight and the bounce was good. And Lakshman got there. And I'm afraid that is regulation. The opportunity comes along and it gets put down. And he goes for the big one. And just clears Srinath. In fact, Srinath takes the catch and goes over the line. So he starts off with a six. Just when I said that uh, it's the time has come to milk the bowling. Uh, where will Hines? He has other ideas. Oh, fantastic, isn't it here? Because, okay, it's not a big ground, but it's still a big blow. Under it, good technique from Javagal Srinath but there again we see Hines or Gale wanting to hit a boundary off the first or second ball and he holds on to this nicely Javagal but runs out of room just a bit here too inside 14 and 15 overs about two won't get it. Again, firmly struck down the ground. Gale will look for two. And get it comfortably. He had his uh, show of luck at Wavell Hines. Lakshman putting a catch down. And that was in Harbhajan's previous over. 131 for no loss. Bowling. for another one he stop it this time the catch taken by Saurav Ganguly and finally India breakthrough Saurav he's done the damage done the trick for his skipper and finally this partnership is broken nice bit of air and Hines well he wanted to smash this again out of the ground and he's just succeeded in top edging it Skipper takes it. He's gone for 80. 132 for one. And Willie making no mistake. Some turn and the Turkish outside edge. Over John Singh just cutting it off inside the boundary. 17 overs gone, 135 for one. Got it! Well, shouts to catch it. They just seem to go off the pad. And you can see Saurav Ganguly attacking now, and rightly so. Ball is turning, he's got a new man at the crease. Big appeal. Missed it by miles, but certainly everyone in the crowd out of their seats. Yeah! That's brilliantly taken. Superb piece of bowling. And a terrific catch by Saurav Ganguly. That was the top spinner. Samuels didn't pick it. And suddenly the crowd come to life. Mm, this is the one. And this is the field setting. The skipper himself does the job. Takes a little beauty. And isn't he pumped? He's loving it. He's under pressure. He's pulled off a great catch. Samuels just goes for a single. And the West Indies now 135 for two. Get this one, they'll be under pressure, boys. Come on. 
Sarwan, the new man out there for the West Indies. Two wickets and two overs for the Indians. 135 for two. Two easy runs for Chris Gale. Important for him now to carry this Indian, uh, carry this West Indian innings along. There goes the appeal again. Well, this is somewhere I really feel Harbhajan Singh has to hold himself. It's pitched outside the leg stump when you're bowling over the wicket to the left-hander. The ball is bound to pitch outside the leg stump 99 out of 100 times. And if you keep appealing like that, you're not going to give any kind of confidence to the umpires. And when the time comes, when it's a genuine appeal, we just turn it down. Well, all of Abhijan seems that he looks are genuine as far as he is concerned. That's his half centre, Chris Gale. That's his 14th half century in Monday Internationals, Chris Gale. This has been this has been a very good series for him. He scored two hundreds already gone to 50 in this match of 52 balls with eight boundaries a little bit on the slower side considering uh, the hundreds he got he got them much quicker yeah. go, 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 go. couple of runs down towards fine leg for Sawan not quite the right line from Harbour Jensen will he get the ball again we'll have to wait and see I doubt it yeah. run. second run possible as well the stop that uh, Mohamed Kef has made the ball hit him on his eye where he had his glasses on as well struck three and a half coming around but they'll get two runs That's a very good over for India so far. Just the one run from the over. Plenty to turn. A lot of spin there for the slow bowlers. Good to see some spin bowling. We're in the Sehwag and... Uh, go, go, go. Only go, go, go. Only get on the offside. Looking for two. Ramirez Saron could be in a bit of bother. Not too sure why Chris Gale turned down the second run there. He's jogged the first one. Didn't sprint it. Still felt the second one was there, Mikey, because it was VVS Lakshman who's uh, on the slower side. Saron was all set because the ball has gone through Mohamed Kaif. Not often you'll see that. We've seen, we've seen a couple of uh, good fielders today misfielding. So Ricardo Powell, Mohamed Kaif. Creating problems, these slow bowlers. This is beautiful bowling from Murli Karthik. Lovely line, lovely flight. The greed that sort of Ganguly is throwing at Gale. A real put in pressure on the Western is batsman. Just a couple of singles coming. Not too much else happening. Looking for the ones and twos, work the ball around, or is he going to go for the big hit? Especially against Murli Karthik, Chris Gale has a great chance of going with the spin. Sarwan there, just struggling on that occasion, coming quickly onto him. Yeah. Sarwan, one gets the feeling, has a better understanding of what's happening when the spinners are bowling. Can't say the same for Chris Gale. He goes in the air, it's flat, and it's gone a long way. Goes for the roof, Chris Gale. 
seen plenty of sixes. Well, he got right to the pitch of this one. He struck it well. And if you've got to take a risk, you Raj is the man you want to take it against. Driven nicely against the spin. A fumble. Tempted the batsman to think of second. They're quite happy with the one. It's a no ball to start with. We're looking to play the fine sweep. Come on, come on, think about it, think about it, come on. Or rather, Ram Naresh Sarwa. To Chris Gale, look at him. He is the man India want. Ahim. 176 for two. Bowling. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laxman wasn't concentrating. He didn't get behind the stumps on that occasion. Chris Gale, though, I think would have been home and safe. They're just starting to try to break up the momentum by getting the singles. Well, the better fielders also struggle to save the singles. A good running. And there goes the big one. It's another flat six for West Indies. Just over Sanjay Bangar was at long on. The six is galore as far as West Indies is concerned. He uses his feet very well to slow ball as Ramir Sawan. Didn't have the confidence when he just got in. Yeah. Keep the strike, Sarwan. 50 runs partnership comes up and 185 for two is the score. see why they don't want to give their wickets away because there is two we said that this morning in the pitch report we spoke about it and it's not all plain sailing it's not easy well flighted from Kartik Kartik uh, second match for him where he's uh, bowled well at an important stage this is the one that is pushed through not supposed to turn Chris Gale will get a chance to free his arms. He's very good against Seamers. Srinath from Long On gets around and lends a helping hand to Sanjay Bangar. Two more runs to Chris Gale. Now just look at where he drives this ball down the ground from just about hip high. He's got so much power. Fairly races down there. It wasn't a bad delivery. It wasn't a half volley. Going for 20. Let's uh, play to mid on. It's gone up in the air. Man with the golden arm may have struck, but not yet. Just out of reach of Mohamed Kef, who was coming in to save the single. And in the end, he was running back to take an almost impossible catch. Yeah, well, it's at length again. It's not drivable. It's not pull. Not able to pull it. And Kaif, as good as he is. And he is very good. Just eluded him. That's a close shave for Chris Gale and the West Indies. Very, very close. See the required target come down to single figures. Or double figures. Well done, Captain. 192 for two. He's going to look for two and should get it comfortably. Balaji is the man at long arm. Think about it, really, Think about it. can afford to get big guy. Keep saying this. Ganguly in his second over and almost killing the batsman at the other end. Sarwan is on the ground. And the ball has crossed the boundary rope. Brings up the 200 for West Indies. Time for a commentary change. First for our national viewers in Hindi. It's going to be Maninder Singh and Arulal. And to describe Chris Gale's shot further, it's going to be Michael Holding and Ravi Shastri. And now the big one. He's picked the slower ball and put it out of the park. Again, a massive strike. Ten of the first two balls. And West Indies motoring along. I think this was a bit of a risk that Saurav Ganguly took. But I think it was a worthwhile risk because he could have had the wicket of Chris Gale in his previous over. Ganguly took that risk. 
And again, another boundary. He's peppering that onside field. And this could be the turning point in this game. This over. This is a good over for the West Indies and for Chris Gale. Missed two shots in the previous over. One of them went straight back past Ganguly in the air. The other one fell over. Mohamed Gale's head. Sarwan getting into the act. That's another boundary and a great over for the West Indies. 19 runs coming off it. 217 for two. That's taken. Outside edge. Fine piece of bowling by Karthik. First wicket for Moodley Karthik in one day internationals. And this one coming off the pad of the keeper. He has bowled beautifully early, Kartik. Hasn't pushed through too many deliveries. Taking the outside edge there of Ramare Sawan's back. Got a bit of help in the slip cordon. But everything goes in as we on this occasion. It's 2 1 8 for 3. Shibna Ryan, Chandra Paul, the left hander, comes out to the middle. He's had a good series as well. Averaging just under 47 and a good strike rate in the series so far. That's a lovely piece of bowling, nice flight. But Chandra Paul here is off the mark in style. Karthik not happy, that was dropped short. And he's such a good player of spin. His footwork is so assured, Chandra Paul. I think he pushed a bit wide of the because he knows that Chandra Paul likes to play towards the onside. But he's also a good cutter. And being pushed back now onto the point boundary. Just the four men now left inside the circle. Ah! Ah. Two, two, two for three. It's a glorious hit, the biggest hit of the day. That's landed right on the roof of the stadium and disappeared. What a strike. He's a tall man, big use of his feet. And what a hit. That's the biggest hit of the game. He's a tall man and a powerful man. Now, the roof of the stadium, I would think, oh, that's about five, six stories high. And it hit the top of the roof should be getting 12 for that that's great camera work lying right on the roof of the boundary would be about 75 80 yards and then I heard Mike Rowling saying that will be about four or five stories high that roof of the stand so that is a massive hit they've gone about 130 140 yards if it had landed that should be it you have to hurry he gets there in the end. Another magnificent innings from Chris Gale. Third hundred of this TBS One Day Series. His fourth overall. And a very important knock that. When we behind the party, he knew he had to stay right through as long as possible, Chris Gale. In front of the wickets. Some excellent drives of the back and front foot through the cover region. But... The hesitation, chance of a run out. Chandra Paul departs in the end, sacrificing his wicket. So against the run of play, India get another wicket. And India will take them, however they come. A lot of indecision here, both of them hesitating and then eventually Deciding to run well, Shandra Paul gave up from halfway. He knew he wasn't going to be making that. Another wicket goes down for the West Indies. Shandra Paul trudges slowly off the. 239 for four, and Ricardo Powell comes out to the middle. And he's a powerful striker of the ball. Well, the 
finger goes up. Rahul Dravid wasn't even appealing. Chris Gale cannot believe it. Could this be the turning point in this contest? Two wickets in the over. And it might just be a lucky break for India. Well, Rahul Javid is out there looking very embarrassed. He wasn't appealing at all because the ball was nowhere near to the bat. It missed the bat by a mile. But as we know, Harbhajan Singh appeals for anything. This time it has paid off for him. It's 239 for five. So the new man out there, Carl Hooper. Two new players at the keys, both to get off the mark. Oh, that's a misfail. That will result in a boundary. That's something India can ill afford at this stage. Lakshman just overrunning the ball. Well, Lakshman wasn't anywhere close to that ball when it was given out, but I think he's still in shock. Wasn't concentrating there at all, VBS Lakshman. Two forty-five for five. Towards the end of the innings, you can see he was looking for the big one. He was looking to clear mid-wicket and deep mid-wicket, but uh, the delivery from Harbhajan a lot fuller than he expected. As for. He's found the gap nicely. This is exactly what he was trying the previous ball he faced. This time he gets the elevation. The length was picked up nicely. The 250 comes up for the West Indies. That's the direction in which he'll be hitting. What Harbhajan Singh will be hoping is that he picks the wrong one and hits against the top spinner. 251 for five. It's done a good job. He's into his 10th always conceded just 33 runs. And the West Indies need to do what they are doing at the moment, try and pick up a runner ball, four runs off the first five deliveries. Oh, hey. Come on, Kartik. 42 overs gone. It's 256 for five. Quarter for Wiz. Inside edge onto the foot, and Dravid will have to get a direct hit here. Ashoka Disilva has gone for the third umpire. Shivram has a job on his hand. Well, just from the naked eye, you think he's home, unless, of course, the bat is up in the air while Powell is sliding. Dravid sort of fell a bit awkwardly. It's going to be tied. But he's always looked home, didn't he? Quite comfortable in the end. Heart in the mouth for a little bit. And it was always in. It needed a direct hit for that run out to be claimed. Once it gets to the bowler, that extra second that the batsman gets makes a huge difference. <laughs> and that field has been a problem today. What a number of runs have been taken in that area. Played straight to the fielder. Have not been able to prevent the single. That will be the thing that's annoyed probably John Wright the most, the Indian coach. It's been some of the fielding. Just lacked that little bit of urgency. A couple of little misfields, a couple of fumbles. Hello. That is going to disappear all the way for half a dozen. Into the jungles. This ball has been hit into the wild. This one's not going to come back. And a pin drop silence is what Ricardo Paul gets for that hit. He's always had this big hitting talent, Ricardo Paul. Saw him the first time in Singapore. Tore the Indian attack apart to play a match winning innings. And this is the problem when you have to rely on spinners on a surface like this. There is always that risk. <laughs> Ricardo Paul is printing the first one. Carl Hooper is not 100% fit, but he'll make the effort to take the second. 
267 for five West Indies. Slow ball and he's played it square on the offside. So that will be a chase for Murli Karthik, the left-hander. Short ball. And he's dropped it. And he never looked like catching that one. The batsmen are content with two. I think the fielder in the deep is uh, Vivius Lakshman. He's had a few problems in that area. He sure has. He got beaten by the spinning ball that went for four, went past him a few overs ago. And now, I have to agree with you, Sanjay Mandrake, never looked like catching this one. It's always going away from him. And he made good ground, Vivius Lakshman. He just felt he's never quite going to get there. And he landed pretty heavy too. They had a hit a good nudge on the soil. They've got to feel for Srinath. That wicket would have really done a world of good for him. Sixth and seven won the international. The November 24th and the last game. Well, quickly, Daniel, the 24th. You're looking you're forward to say what? Well, you enjoyed know? yourself. Oh. Played wide of mid on. So Sanjay Bangar did well to prevent the second one. what Danny Morrison meant was the Indian team goes to New Zealand after a very short break the 24th they have about a week at home okay. firmly struck and it's a boundary for Hooper Srinath can't do much about it he was at mid-off three overs to go 282 for five Carl Hooper still uh, looking to run not looking to hit too many of the big shots quite happy to give his knees further battering by running those singles and twos so looking to find the gap there in the deep vvs lakshman is the man so four runs to win for west indies and 14 balls to go in spite of that Still looking to win this one comfortably. Two runs to win. And brings up another good partnership for West Indies. And that's been the hallmark of their success in the series. 50 runs partnership between Ricardo Powell and the West Indian captain. Is he going to go for the big one? Ricardo Powell and finish this game. He's the one who would look to do that. It's just the one needed. Scores a level. Very competent run chase yet again by the team batting second. And there it is, the winning run. Appropriately scored by the West Indian captain. Standing ovation is what he'll get as West Indies win this one by five wickets and they take the lead in this TVS Cup one day series 3 2. Well, you thought. 290 from India. And it's going to be a very, very competitive total as it's turned out. West Indies 291 for five. They're very, very comfortable in. With, uh, in fact, seven balls to go. And a dubious decision given against Chris Gale. Caught driver by Hubbard on 101. So could the silver judge that caught behind. And he had to go. Hines 80. Well, for me, he was just outstanding. He set the scene. And that opening stanza with Chris Gale. 34 to Sarwan, 30 not out to Powell, and not out 21 to the skipper. Hooper, 291 for five. Very comfortable in the end. 16 extras. Always going to be tough ask for the quicker bowlers here. Bolajay on debut. Uh, good one for him to remember. Four overs for 44. Javagal Srinath. All six overs, no matter, is number 42. The quick men struggle. Bunga just the one over. And Habajan got through his 10. Sewag almost got through his 10. And uh, Murali Katak, he got through his 10. They bowled pretty well. But just the horse had bolted, really, in that opening part there with the West Indian openers. Into that 290 for 8 off 48 overs aside. 9.30 start. And in the end, wasn't enough. 291 for 5 and 46.5 overs.
West Indies win by five wickets. A lead now, 3-2 in the series.